The clock says 2.46 at the start of the play. By the time this cornerback comes in off the edge, it's 2.44, meaning there was about a two-second play to sack. After the play was over, you can see the next-gen stats agrees. This is a 2.7 time to sack. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot. Snip the man. She's as always got another defensive gameplay for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a blitz that I recently found that has got to be one of the fastest blitz in the game. It's also one of the most devastating. This play here will have your opponent run for his life the entire game, and it's something that is easy to set up, which is one of the best things about it. As always, if you guys want to see more defensive Woo! gameplay videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. On that, let's go get right into the video. Now, the playbook that I'm in today is the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive playbook playbook but pretty much any playbook with a double a gap whether it's a three two six or any double a gap playbook should have this play the formation that i'm going to be in today is going to be the nickel 155 double a gap like i said i should work with just about any double a gap formation i don't think it's just specific to this playbook it's just going to change your personnel from defensive ends to outside linebackers I came to this formation to run the nickel dog too which is a play that i put out in the past and had a lot of success with it's a good play but i don't really feel like cover two is best from this formation you're going to see i do get some instant pressure here from the defensive end and even the quarterback comes in unblocked on the same side but ultimately cover two doesn't really cover too well from this formation because they're so close in line you can see my opponent rips off a very big play on the first time that i call this i tried to run this a few more times because i didn't see the pressure but you're going to see i still get a lot of pressure this time forcing brady to throw it out of bounds and essentially cause an intentional grounding but at the end of the day i don't really like the coverage so i try to switch over to the buck zone three which is another play that i put out once again from the two three six double a gap and you can see the set's pretty simple all i do is blitz my linebackers bring this defensive end in over the running back typically this will get the defensive end opposite the running back off and you can see he gets in free uh shot to the quarterback but the the quarterback's already getting rid of the ball essentially this is something that's going to force quick throws and i'm all over that running back that's why i said to cover that running back from the beginning of the play nope so knowing that i actually was flipping through and i saw this particular play the outside dog three and i've never really tried this play so i was like let me give this a try you can see number one the defense sets itself up the same Safety will walk down to the line of scrimmage by himself, which is really nice. It kind of limits how many adjustments you can make, but you don't really have to make a lot anyway, because ultimately what I have to do is put this yellow zone, which is going to be your user, into a blitz, hover the gap, and then drop back immediately. Now you can see on this first play, the cornerback gets off free on both sides, and my opponent once again forces a quick throw. Nope. So he throws a slant. I'm in the way of that. It's incomplete. On third nine, I run this play again. And you can see once again on the next play, we got two guys coming in free to the quarterback pretty quickly. Once again, he's trying to throw that slant combo. Got and it. I jump that and we're going the other way. So I've only ran this play twice. And you can see the explosive results we're having as I'm going the other way on a very easy pick six. Now what you're doing to use on this play is very critical because essentially what you're doing is what makes this play so successful. You basically have to drop back pretty quickly trying to pull the lineman in front of you to make this play successful. You can see number 74 here is blocking nobody and then we have some very easy pressure coming off of essentially both sides of this blitz. There's more than one way to run this. Sometimes I'll run this as a four man blitz where essentially I'll leave the three red hook alone, I'll usually the other guy who's already on a blitz, and then I'll try to drop back the same. This first play here, this is the first time that I tried this, and I really didn't have a ton of success, but you will see as the video goes on that more and more times I actually do have pretty much the same success. But since it didn't work there and I'm new to the play, I switch back over to the five-man blitz, which essentially is just a five-on-five -five anyway. It still gives me pretty easy success. So I'm going to blitz this other guy. Like I said, just guess pass. So what I got to do is blitz this guy, guess pass, drop back. If I pause it here real quick, you can see it looks like I'm going to get an A gap. As number 74 starts to play blocking absolutely nobody, they will eventually slide over, but you're going to see how the entire offensive line slides and it still fails. If we stop this play again, 76 is now the guy blocking nobody. So there's always going to be somebody blocking nobody. And by the time the play ends, you can see essentially only three guys are getting blocked and we have multiple guys around the quarterback, including the two outside cornerbacks. So a very heavy pressure blitz play. If you can see on this next play, we'll actually slow it down. The clock starts at 18 seconds. And if you see, once the play ends, by the time Time the quarterback drops back is only 15 seconds left on the clock that's how quick this blitz comes in from both sides as both cornerbacks once again are wrapping up the quarterback that's a lightning fast blitz on the next play my opponent throws it as quick as possible like a one second read as he gets the ball out you can't make a living with that though on the next play once again we pause the ball the second the play starts it's 308 on the clock once the play ends you can see once again the quarterback comes in free from very far away and the play is essentially over at 306 this is about a two and a half second blitz which aside from getting a lot 
Lyle Sachs is also going to force your opponent to throw the ball very quickly, which is going to make it very easy to read what they're doing. You're going to see here in the next play, once again, third and three, you can see that slants lit up. That's essentially what my opponent's whole offense is going to be at this point. It's going to be throwing slants. Whether well, it's there, he just beats me just slightly out in front. Slants, zigs, drags pass to the running back all that you're gonna see once i catch a read on that it's just gonna be easy to jump these throws because ultimately he doesn't have a chance really to throw to anything deeper other than short routes not that this play isn't without its deficiencies though as you'll see a lot of times these purple zone coverages these seam flats are being run by defensive tackles or defensive ends which aren't gonna be very great in coverage you can see they do a pretty good job of getting in the way of certain routes but they don't do a very good job of actually jumping the routes or playing the ball once the ball's in the air as you can see right there the coverage is great but he gets through it because all Ultimately, they just don't have very good ball skills. So that's probably one of the bigger issues. This play will also have issues covering what I would consider intermediate routes. The defense sets up well enough to cover short routes, but once you get past that, there's not a lot of speed to really cover between that and the safety. So a lot of times, these guys will get quickly to the safety level, and the safety can make a play on it sometimes, but a lot of times it really won't. It also has issues with inside run plays. It's pretty good against outside runs because of the blitzing cornerbacks, but if your opponent decides to hit you with a draw or an 0-1 trap or an inside zone, it's not really set up for that. Cover 3 is not really a great defense when it comes to those particular things. Now on the next drive, even though my opponent did finally score after I was up 20 to nothing on him, he essentially put the game away. He just quits with about four minutes left as I'm on the one yard line. See ya. So I'm gonna show you guys one more gameplay with this because I typically wanna show you guys more than one gameplay anyway. This is a completely different opponent, but you're gonna see it's gonna have the exact same results. Once again, running the exact same defense, only this time I'm running the four man pressure. I drop back the user that's already on the blitz. You're gonna see the pressure takes a little bit of time to get there and it's just not as successful. So at the end of the day, the five man pressure is definitely a better option as I'm pretty much going to cover the middle by myself anyway. I don't really need the three red hook. I always want the additional guys. It's best to have it. You can see on the five man, once again, the cornerback goes racing in, although he doesn't really bend the corner. Where you go? He just kind of runs past the quarterback as I get a, uh, a PI call because once again, my opponent is throwing short. I try to cut off the short intermediate routes Up. and you can see we, you know, we're basically putting my opponent in the exact same position that my last opponent was in very early in this game. So on the next play, since I know that, you know, throwing short is pretty much the only option i started hard flatting and having a lot of success with that you're going to see on this next play this defensive tackle does a really good job of taking away that outlet pass and my opponent really doesn't have anywhere to go as i'm using deep middle we get another very quick sack on the next play, he does meet me with one of those intermediate routes once again. It gets it to third inches. On the next play, I essentially switch over to a cover four because I want to use a slightly better run defense, pinch my defensive line. But you're going to see the exact same result and the exact same effect as the previous plays. You're going to see, once again, Got he's it. throwing short. He's forced into quick throws, thinking the pressure's coming, even though I wasn't even in the same defense. If I go back to a side-by-side -side between the two, you're going to see the first game and the second game, it's the exact same thing. My opponent's reduced to essentially just throwing slants. And the only difference between the first game in the second game because I just wasn't fast enough or I was going against faster players as they caught me from behind. But at the end of the day, this blitz is really the MVP because it's so quick. You're going to see here once again, we're going to go over the freeze frame one more time. You can see once the ball is hiked, the clock says 246 at the start of the play. By the time this cornerback comes in off the edge, or this defensive end this time comes off the edge, it's 244, meaning that it was about a two-second play to sack. Uh, after the play was over, you can see the next-gen stats agrees. This is a 2.7 time to sack, which really puts your opponent in a tough position. Now, I did say I wanted to show at least one time me getting really good pressure from this setup with a four-man blitz. You're going to see I'm doing that here. I'm usering the blitzing uh, middle linebacker. I'm going to drop back right away. And if I pause this, you can see there's at least three guys because the running backs blocking this time there's at least three guys blocking nobody because i still get a free rusher that was a four-man blitz on six defenders and we get a very easy sack i'm gonna go to my end of video there this is another one here i'm gonna essentially do the exact same thing i'm gonna have a four-man pressure Got you it. see my opponent just throws the ball up right away and we're getting a very easy interception which i will eventually take back to the house while i do my sign off so if you guys want to see more defensive videos like this more gameplay videos like this hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below